Hey guys, this is Polo here, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the 125 scale high grade RX72 Gundam Beyond Global. Alright, here is the box itself. Now, yes, I am late to the party, I know, I know. I just really want to pick this up today because, you know, it's not really much Gunpla releases that really interest me for the past few months, really, because, yeah, all the months have been silent. So I thought, you know what, I should just get some of the older kids that I missed out some time ago and, uh, you know, just give visit, visit them back and you know, give them a shot, really. So, the, the, the store that I usually go to got this, like, we started yesterday, and, yeah, it, it, and I heard from the shop owner, he said it took about, I guess, Five months for this, these guys to come, which is really insane. You, know, and you all know the reason why I'm explaining. You, if I say, I'm probably get in trouble. But, anyways, um, yeah, Beyond Global. Uh, I didn't expect to get this for the first place, but I thought, yeah, I, I need an RX-17 in my collection. I mean, and plus, I, this chance being silent, so I, I want to build some complex as I can. So yeah, um, let's go unboxing. So this is basically the 40th anniversary of Gunpla, like last year. Now it's for you, Gunpla 41 this year. Um, yeah, let's go unboxing. So. No public casting this kit from what I've seen the reviews of, really. So, I wonder how this kit will be solid and, I guess, uh, good in terms of how the construction goes, really. I mean, the proportions are very, very, like, humanoid, really. So, I, I'm not gonna, not gonna complain much, but it's a stylized RX-70 to Gundam, really. It doesn't mean sure. I think this is 2000 yen, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, I, it's been a while. I've, I've, Done research on this guy. So, so the box. Got my tape and my knife. Right. So the box is inside. First pair of stickers, which is only, the only sticker in the kit is, is the eyes, so that's good, I suppose. And yeah, of the eyes, there's the eyes there. The only, I think you don't really need a sticker, you can just lose the panel marker and just, you know, go over the eyes. So, no issue there. I wonder what Bond is up to with, the, with these, you know, you know weird, weird running designs. Maybe a new R78, I don't know. But, yeah, so. Basically, you have the pastel blue parts, you have the yellow, you've got kind of an off white if I'm from senior. On the back, we have the uh, F1 plate, which is all the joints. And the back is the backpack, and yes, yeah, the backpack is pretty interesting. And this part of the shield, and some more joints. And so we have the V2 plate, which is all the white parts again. Uh, F2 plate, which is more joints. D1, but you get two D1 plates. Okay, it's interesting. Yeah, uh, more parts, more armor parts. Uh, the E1 plate, which is all the red, which is in the more again more of a pastel color. The shield is really small. Holy crap, I just realized. And you got the C1 plate with all of the uh, the part, the hand manipulators. Uh, I've got the weapons, uh, the beam rifle, which is the only weapon from the kit under the beam saber, the shield. And the last part is the B1 plate, which is the head. I mean, again, the head is pretty nice. Like, it's all, it's, it's a helmet it's supposed to like, put two pieces together, which is really neat. And the beam sabers, more armor parts. Yep. I don't see a problem there. Right to the side. Pretty simple kit for what here. And here's the manual. Yep, so, again, more, it's, it's a pretty solid, it's a pretty, like, straightforward instruction. I mean, if you build a high you know how this guy turns out, really. Yep, so in the back, we have more information of the X-78. Uh, no bazooka, which kind of sucks, honestly, because, um, yeah, I really wish this kick him the bazooka. I mean, I can always just take a bazooka from my, my revive, I think it works fine, honestly. But yep, that's the unboxing of the high grade R seventy eight two Beyond Global. Uh, I'm not sure when I build. I mean, I'll try to build it as soon as I can. Really, um, I just need a kind of time. But I have more complex projects to focus on, so probably this guy might not have a review anytime soon. But you know what? I will see how it goes. So, yep. So the guys, thanks for watching this unboxing, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.